Trees are part of the fungi family of which there are over 1500 species. They are also called sugar fungus and reproduce through asexual means through a process called budding. Budding is where a daughter cell is formed on the parent cell. The bud continues to grow until it separates from the parent cell forming a new cell. In alcohol production we use only a handful of the different yeast species available that are best suited for alcohol production. These species contain the ability to complete a full and rapid fermentation of wort sugars. They also have a high tolerance for initial sugar concentrations of up to 20% of the total mash volume. Good fermentation yeast also is able to live in high concentrations of ethanol from 10 to 20%. And lastly, yeast should have minimal frothing and be able to grow in temperatures up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Unlike beer making, the yeast strain that distillers seek is not so much for its minuscule flavor variations as for its ability to create high alcohol yields. For this reason, we generally choose freeze-dried or dormant varieties as they have the best trade-off between production and cost. Living or liquid yeast varieties are used in the brewing industry for their flavor variations, but also cost more than the dormant varieties. We need to then discuss the situation of pH as yeast needs a slightly acidic environment to thrive and does not do well in alkaline environments. We are able to determine the level of acidity in our wort by measuring the pH of the solution. A pH measurement determines the amount of hydrogen ion concentrations in the solution. pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. Distilled water has a neutral pH of 7 while acidic solutions have a measurement of less than 7 and alkaline solutions have a measurement between 7 and 14 on the pH scale. If the solution is too alkaline or too acidic, we can use buffering agents to adjust the pH. We are trying to get the solution of the pH to between 3.6 to 4 degrees, which is the optimal range for yeast. To make our solution more alkaline, we can add calcium sulfate as a buffering agent. If we need to make the solution more acidic, we buffer with citric acid.